Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, October 16, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. We have received a lot of subscribers the last uh, month, and uh, actually we're up 100%. So uh, thank you very much, and uh, that helps us a lot to basically grow this channel. And uh, when it grows more, we'll basically add more content on the way, which I have done today. Uh, you're welcome to like this video and uh, hit the bell button and so see our newest uh, videos. As I said, I have added content. I have added the CCI, which is one of my favorite uh, indicators, especially for commodities. But I found out that it basically is fantastic for everything else as well. So it's basically made for commodities, but 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 you can use it for mostly everything. Uh, it is an oscillator, very similar to the RSI. However, I find it more reliable, and I like uh, it. Basically, is a better indicator of when markets are about to turn around, uh, when they are overbought or oversold. So underneath, when we are down here, we are basically in oversold position. We're above, we are in overbought position, as you basically can see. The arc here is similar to this arc and so on. And um, the RSI, I technically only use the number of the RSI. If we are under 30, it's a sign of uh, we're oversold. If we're over 70, it's a sign that we are basically overbought. So I'll use both of these when uh, when um, I'll anal analyze whether or not we are in oversold or overbought position. Yes, so we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. So the thing that happened today is that a lot of bad news came out. Uh, there probably is not going to be any stimulus, as I've said several times. The initial jobless uh, claims are much higher than expected, and uh, the coronavirus numbers are basically soaring all around, all around the wor world. And there's a lot of um, a lot of uncertainty what will basically happen uh, before the election, also after the election. And that is also affecting markets really negatively today. And therefore, we have seen the US dollar index uh, increase quite significantly, nearly a percentage today. And that has a significant effect on most of these pairs. We can see that uh, these pairs are, uh, well, we have a lot of changes today. So let's just get to it. We have the uh, Great British Pound and the US dollar. It has broken down quite significantly. But we're still trading between the 50 moving average and the 100 moving average. Uh, we broke down towards the 100 moving average. We pulled back a little bit, but we are struggling. We are technically within these two moving averages. And at this point, these two averages will uh, cross at, at uh, some point in time. And then we'll basically grow the upside or to the downside. Uh, technical indicators for for uh, the U.S. dollar and the, no, the Great British Pound or the U.S. dollar, we can see that uh, MACD is about to turn around, indicating uh, bearish momentum. We also have the stochastic pointing to lower price levels, and also the Bollinger Band has turned around up here, and it will most likely go all the way towards these levels, and that would mean that we'll go towards this level here, that is 12. Uh, 68. We are not overbought at this point, but we have been uh, on Monday and last Friday, and this indicates that we are basically going to go lower. So we're going to go to a situation where we are oversold, similar to this. So we'll probably see we have this at the moment, and we'll see something similar to this. That means that we are most likely going to break the, the 100 moving average. If we break the 50 moving average, then there's nothing uh, preventing us from going to these highs at uh, uh, of uh, 1347. But I would not, not uh, count on this pair to go to those, those levels. And there are many other things, for example, Brexit and so on, that will affect this pair for the for the downside, to the downside. If we look at US dollar, Japanese uh, yen, we can see that we are basically flat at this point. We are in a, in a position where we are 
a little bit oversold. RSI is not indicated, but the CCI is indicating that we are in a position where we are oversold. So we may see another turn to the upside towards the 50 moving average uh, before we go lower. The technical indicators uh, for MACD is technically flat, but the stochastic is indicating as well, similar to the CCI, that we are about to turn around here. And that will mean that we will have a little bit of bullish momentum. However, I do believe that the market here will go towards this trend line. We are actually trading within this trend line here. And uh, remove this. We are trading within this channel here. And, uh, and, and that means that we will most likely go towards this lower channel before we go upwards. But in the short run, probably for a Friday and also Monday, we will trend upward towards the 50 moving, 50 moving average before we go uh, lower towards this trend line here, which is at 103.740. So looking at the euro US dollar, we have broken down quite significantly today. We're down minus 0 0.43. Um, we, this was expected. We were in an area here of where we were overbought. And we can see that we, uh, we have turned around. Now we're going to a position where we're going to get oversold. So we'll most likely from a run into resistance at the 100 moving average, which is at 11.66. Uh, if you break 11.66, that opens the door to much lower levels, for example, to the 150 moving average at 11.45. Uh, but I don't believe that will break the, 50, the 100 moving average. We are currently trading in between the 50 and the 100 moving average. A break above the 50 moving average, we will then go and test this area, which was significant resistant in the past but for the time being i think that we're just going to trade sideways a lot of choppiness up and down between the 50 and the 100 moving average if you look at the macd it is about to turn around indicating bearish momentum the same goes for the stochastic it is basically bearish momentum and the bollinger band is indicating that we are going to do a turn towards the lower bollinger band at around um, levels of 11.62. That is quite low. That is actually these levels. I don't believe that will go lower than the 100 moving average. So the Aussie dollar, uh, Aussie dollar, US dollar, we have broken down quite significantly, but we have found so support around this area here, which also was previous uh, support. Um, we were in an overbought position. We have turned into a going heading towards an oversold position and that technically means that we probably will will maybe turn around within this area here find support make a double double bottom and then turn uh, we may also cross this uh, uh, the support line towards this uh, this 150 moving average and then bounce um that is also likely but I would most likely expect 0 0.70 to be our lowest uh, point. If you look at the other technical indicators, uh, MACD has turned around, indicating bearish, uh, crossing the signal line, indicating bearish momentum. We can see that uh, uh, stochastic has um, some, will better drop a little bit more before we turn around. And that will most likely coincide that we'll go towards this uh, support line and go up towards the 50 moving average at this point. Yes, US dollar and Canadian dollar. We Canadian dollar. We have rallied uh, mainly due to the US dollar index increasing, but we have found some resistance at the uh, white line here, which is the 20 40 exponential moving average. And even though we rally further this is not going higher than the green line, which is the 100 exponential, the 100 moving average. Um, we were fairly oversold. You can see that we bottomed here at this candlestick here, and then we turned around. We may turn around, for, uh, break it down from here. I do believe that we'll go back towards this channel. The major challenge is basically to break this 
downtrend line here, which was resistant, which is going to be support when we when we get there. Uh, the other indicators have turned around. The MACD has turned around. It will cross the signal line well, most likely tomorrow. The same goes for the stochastic. It is getting quite bullish. And the uh, Bollinger Band has, it will also turn around. We will run into resistance at this uh, moving average here, which is a simple 20 moving average, which is around there. So we probably won't get all the way to the 100 moving average, but and then turn around. So, hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by hitting the subscribe button down here in the corner, hitting the like button and the bell button in order to see, see our newest videos. Uh, good luck and thank you very much.